Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Larry Wills and his 300 pound weight gain and also a little bit about Ronnie Coleman. But I'm going to first talk about my workout for the day and my workout for the day was pretty simple. Um, I did a uh, two mile walk. It was about 45 degrees out here at the time. Uh, it, once you get, once your body get warmed up and acclimated to the cold, it really don't bother you that much. But I made sure that the walk that I have are always uh, high pace walks, uh, where I'm walking at a uh, real fast pace, almost to the point that your body wants you to begin to run. But uh, a lot of times, walking is just as important as the running part and the walking part is easier on the joints so that's what i decided to do today but after that two mile walk i ended up and i did a uh five turns of a 500 pound tractor tire uh tie flips and i did about five or six turns of that and that was pretty much it for the day at least for me it was <laughs> that tie heavy baby uh now, my, my first thing I'm going to talk about is um, layer wheels. Layer wheels in that 300 pound uh, weight gain uh, that he has accomplished in order for him to be able to lift uh, heavier weights. And it's like I told you before, you have to pretty much uh, train for whatever it is that you're doing. And he's uh, proven my point. Now, even though the guy is incredibly strong, uh, for a bodybuilder, the 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 leverage that he needs to lift heavier weight uh, requires that he gain a significant amount of weight to be able to lift that weight. Because without the leverage of the extra weight, there's no way he's going to be able to lift the weight that he want to lift. Now, what he's doing, I mean, you can look at the guy. The guy. Uh, He's looking miserable. He's looking miserable with all the food that he has to eat because what he's trying to do is not something that um, those uh, power lifters are doing. What they do is something that they do all the time. So they are accustomed to it. They, they, they don't have that I'm about to die look like Larry Will have. He had because he's trying to uh, force feed himself and, grant, and gain this tremendous amount of weight in a short period of time. Whereas true power lifters, the ones that do it all the time, they eat like that all the time, so they're accustomed to it, they're used to it, and it's not uh, that great of a task for them. Now, it's like I told you before, you always have to make a decision. If you want to be a power lifter, you're going for the heavier and heavier weights, then you're gonna eat like they do. You got to have that weight to balance the weight. I mean, Larry Wills is strong, true in a bodybuilding state, uh, but he's still not able to get as big as the bodybuilders are, the, the true professional bodybuilders are, because of the tremendous amount of weights that he's lifting. So he's not able to get to their size because he's lifting too heavy of a weight, like I told you before. I mean, it, all that stuff work hand in hand. You, you, you can't have the best of both worlds when it comes down to bodybuilding, powerlifting. You know, bodybuilders are never concerned about how much weight they can lift because they are all worrying about the contraction, the contraction of the muscle, the pumping of the blood in the muscle, the keeping the muscle expanded to make that muscle grow. And it doesn't require heavy weights to do that, as Larry Wheels is showing you. Because like, uh, as long as he's lifting the heavy weights, he's never able to get up to the size of those bodybuilders. I mean, the guy have a bodybuilder type shape, but he's don't he don't have that size that those bodybuilders have. He's a little bit out from it because of the heavy weights. Now, he don't have the size to be a true power lifter until just recently and and uh, I personally 
don't think that with the weight gain that he has, I don't think the strength is going to be there uh, that he really will want to make the PRs that he's trying to make because of the rapid weight gain. And you can look at him, the guy with all the food that he's eating, and, and, and he's so full, you can see that he have a hard time breathing, just talking to you, you know, from the massive amount of foods that he's eating. And he's talking about six or seven meals a day, six or seven meals a day, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, and, and all of his stuff is uh, uh, high calorie type foods. And um, right now, I mean, you, you can look at his skin, his skin and everything is, everything is just looking bad on him. I mean, he, he's just looking like he's really suffering uh, from trying to gain that extra weight to, uh, to lift heavier weights. But again, you have to train for whatever it is that you're doing. You know, if you're playing football, football is, is a whole lot different than bodybuilding. Again, 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 bodybuilding is a beauty pageant. It's a useless sport as far as physical activity is concerned because of the uh, extremely excessive uh, size that these guys are uh, gaining. The, the bodies are just not functional everyday bodies. You know, if you're a football player, you know, having oversized legs is, is not helping you. Uh, especially if, if they're rubbing together and you hit, you have to kind of waddle like a duck when you're walking and that's how a lot of the bodybuilders walk if you look at the way they are with the oversized legs. They, they just don't walk normal because the legs are rubbing together so tightly. Now, uh, I was looking at uh, Ronnie Coleman. Ronnie Coleman is uh, actually due uh, for a couple of more surgeries. Uh, in reference to his back, um, he's blown another disc, and from what he's saying, that's pretty much all his disc blown. Um, so he's having uh, a, a tremendous amount of pain from that, and at the same time, the titanium uh, hips that he has, one of them is giving him problems, and is already wore out. Uh, they said it was supposed to last at least 10 years and he only getting five years out of it so they have to go in there and replace uh that hip socket in order for him to uh uh be able to uh, maneuver that side of his body with that uh, uh ball and socket uh rubbing metal metal to metal so he's saying that they're going to replace it with plastic and the other one is titanium, but they're saying that the plastic will last longer. So we'll see how that turn out. Uh, but other than that, he's saying that uh, he's he's doing pretty well, at least the medication that he's taking uh, for the pain uh, with his back is working. So hopefully uh, the guy at some point would get some kind of relief. And he also has finished a book that he's now selling. So, um, it's like I said, with Ronnie Coleman, man, I, like I said, that's, that, that was one of the bodybuilders that I, I, I enjoyed watching because I liked the way that the guy was lifting the weights the way he was, even though it, you know, it, it, it broke him down. I still like watching that guy. But right now, he's um, hopefully he'll get some kind of relief, and, and that's pretty much my conversation with him. I'm just hoping that he can – finally found that uh, level playing field because his, his surgeries are still not open. He's still in the hospital. Uh, anyway, that's what I want to talk to y'all about. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And again, I'll be talking to you later.